Are you looking for a setup for vlogging for YouTube and you don't want to just walk around with your phone? Sound quality from your phone isn't great. Well, I might have something for you. We're going to check out this setup right here and see if this might be something that sounds good and might be a good product for you to use for your YouTube setup. All right, so I have the ViewFlex VF K2 multifunction smartphone video kit. So basically it has a tripod here, has a microphone and a stand for your phone. We're gonna open this up and see what we have in the box. All right, so opening up the box, looks like it comes with a nice um, velvety type of case to hold everything. It says ViewFlex there very um, subtly, so, but you can see it. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it says it right there in the middle. And nothing on the other side. Then you have an instruction manual right here. Then you have your wind muff, so if you're recording outside, you'll be able to, you know, basically reduce the wind. Over here, we have a cable. Looks like a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, TRS to TRRS. Then we have this little holder stand with a uh, tripod mount. Then we have the microphone itself. It kind of has that Rode microphone look to it. it. Has the little microphone hookup right there. And it looks pretty cool, to be honest. Put that aside for a moment. And then here we have our phone mount. This thing seems to be metal. So there's the phone holder part right there and it opens on both sides. Adjustments to it. And you can rotate this either landscape or, you know, so this would be portrait or rotate this part right here to put it in a landscape position. Just like that. You have your standard wind muff right here. Not the dead cat, just the styrofoam one to use in most situations. And then you have your stand right here. The stand is definitely plastic, but uh, it seems to be decent plastic. The middle part looks like it's metal, but the legs are definitely plastic. So that's the stand. Let's put it together, see what it looks like, and then we'll hook up my phone and do some video with the phone. So let's try that out. And this is a setup you could use if you just want the microphone on its own, but if you want to use your phone, then you're going to have to take this off and set this above the phone mount. We'll do that now. So I set this up here with that tripod mount. This just screws right on the same part, right down here. And then put the phone in here. And now you just mount this on the cold shoe mount right up on the top of this right here. And that would be your setup. Last two steps to the process is to plug this guy in the back. And you got to put the three side, not, not the... You got to put the one with the two rings, not the three rings, into the back of the microphone. And then the three ring one, if you have a USB style phone like I do, you're going to need this little dongle, of course. Plug that into there. And now I have my Note 10 hooked up on this setup. And so uh, what do you think of the sound? Do you think that the sound quality on this microphone sounds better than the phone on its own? That's a big question. So the microphone is right here just above the phone. I'm using the front facing camera right now and uh, talking to you with that with the microphone right there. So I'm probably about less than hands distance away, probably about two and a half, three feet. And then I'll slide back a little bit further and I, I probably don't see, you probably don't hear too much of a difference in sound. But here's a situation and a setup that you could potentially use with this microphone. Uh, I've done other microphones before, so I'll probably quickly just show you comparing to this Comica microphone. So I'm going to disconnect this microphone, put the Comica one in there, and see if you notice a difference from the same distance. I'll also do real quick uh, part of this video with just the phone. So I'm going to unplug this. So there you go. There's the sound just coming out of my phone. Do you notice the difference between the microphone and you know the sound just coming out of my phone? Let me know what you think. Let me know what the, how you think that sounds. Now, I'm gonna plug in this Comica microphone and see if you see a difference between this guy and the Comica. So right now, it's my phone. 
Right now I have the Comica microphone right just off to the right of the screen. If you want to see that video, go ahead and check that one out too. But this is the sound that you're going to get through the Comica microphone. And now I switch back to this microphone so that you can see how it sounds. So let me know. Um, again, I'll move back just a little bit, sitting back in my chair. Yeah, and then I'm coming up a little bit closer. Obviously, this wouldn't be as effective unless I was vlogging and I was holding the phone this way. So I'll go ahead and um, so now I'll go ahead and go outside and just do a vlogging situation where I'm talking into the microphone but filming from behind the camera. And uh, you know, let me know what you think as far as that goes. So here I am outside now in a vlog type of situation. So I have the camera actually facing toward me, and I'm walking through my backyard with the camera facing out to the yard doing something like that. There is a airplane flying overhead and I don't know if you can hear it. I was being quiet right there to see if you kind of pick up the sound of the airplane or not or if when I'm talking that kind of takes over that sound. Um, I did a video before on my pond so if you're interested in that go ahead and uh, check that one out. I'll link that in the description below as well. But let me know does this sound pretty good to you? I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this microphone and just walk and you'll hear the phone sound. Oh, so here's uh, here's just the sound from the phone and you know vlogging walking over to my pond and this is adjustable right here I'm just adjusting this I'm not moving my hand sorry there's the camera thing the microphone in the side so uh, the, the, the the tripod is adjustable and can go up and down pretty easily if you leave it, leave the tension loose enough so I'm gonna plug this back in obviously with my phone you can probably hear the sound of the water pretty well um, but I'm going to plug the microphone back in and then see if some of that sound goes away because the microphone's facing toward me. So there you go. Now we're outside again uh, at this pond. Got water running there so you have some noise. And I'm talking pretty much right into the microphone, probably about maybe about a foot away from my mouth. And, you know, obviously sounds from the outdoors. So what does that sound like? So now I have this, I have my arm outstretched and just walking away from the pond, just walking back. Uh, really, I think with any of these things, you wanna look for price and how you think the sound quality is. So if you think the sound quality is good on this, I think what comes in the package is pretty nice. And as you can tell, there's a difference between the sound from the phone with the microphone in and the sound from the phone without the microphone in. So, uh, you know, if this is within your budget and you think this might be something to add to your, um, you know, to your kit, then it might make a lot of sense. Plugging the microphone back in, you know, as I say, if you're walking, vlogging or doing something like that, you might find that this is good for you if you think the sound quality is good. So that's really the key component in my mind. Do you get good sound quality? Does it block out the sound in the background? So I have a number of these that I've done. I have a playlist. You can check out some of the other microphones that I've used as well. So thanks for watching this video. It's on this channel, I do a lot of DIY around the house projects as well as electronics reviews like this. So if those are the type of things of interest to you, definitely uh, give a thumbs up and subscribe. It definitely helps the channel and you won't miss out on new content. So thanks so much for checking this video out. We'll see you in the next one.